seen And the things you want Yes, I know It's too cold Oh, just look at everything I do I'm suffocating myself I'm not safe Oh, oh, oh I'm not safe uh, I'm lost at sea Drowning Wake me up Help me There must be something I can do uh, I'm driving around Reckless Breaking rules I don't care Who knows Good morning you guys Happy Monday And happy day off it's actually labor day today so i don't have work and i was gonna film like a whole weekend in my life but then i went home and i just wanted to like enjoy being home so this is still technically the weekend and i'm still vlogging today but this is just a weekend day in my life and it's monday also i asked you guys on instagram for all of the video requests and everything because i'm feeling very inspired again after having like a long break of vlogging and stuff i'm gonna start a work week vlog tomorrow filming a productive weekend day in the life today and i'm actually really excited but i'm getting ahead of myself if you guys are new here my name is jenna and i work a nine to five in corporate i live with my boyfriend in this new apartment and he's a first year medical student yeah that's like really me in a nutshell but today we have a lot of stuff today that we're gonna do i wrote it out on my planner i've been using this planner to be honest like pretty on and off like sometimes i'll go through sprints of just like not using it like last week i didn't use it at all but this is a papier planner if you guys don't know here is our plan today we have a lot of stuff that we're gonna do i need to answer some emails today just like random admin stuff for like content creator for work stuff i'm not working i'm just like literally answering emails i need to post my video today because today my flexi spot video goes live i'm so excited because that's like our couple's work from home setup tour so that will be really fun if i have time and i'm not sure i will but if i have time i want to see if i can get the screws to put the sconces back up because we finally filled the hole from like when it fell and we repainted it so it's like ready to be put up again i just think that might take a little bit of time so i think we can do it today if we have time but i just don't know i need to call the tailor if possible because i need to tailor some pants because i'm only 5'3 and all my pants are always too long i'm filming this vlog right now if i have time i want to film my princess poly haul because i'm so excited you guys i think i have done my best self with this new princess poly haul i cannot wait to show you guys every like seriously every single item i will be wearing 24 7 this fall i'm so freaking excited everything is so 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 cute like 100 of everything and i really outdid myself so if i have time today i want to film that in a little bit actually like really soon i'm gonna leave because we're gonna go take a walk in the morning and we're gonna go to solid core i did buy an eight class monthly membership to solid core i have just been wanting to do it so bad and i recently canceled better help just because my therapist is no longer on better help she's doing like private practice so i want to stay with my therapist better help was so awesome because they connected me with her but i want to stay with her so i canceled better help so i'm not paying for that anymore and i was like well solid core is a little cheaper than better help better help was pretty expensive honestly it was like $320 a month or something. And solid core <laughs> for eight classes a month is $250, which is still really expensive because when I was doing Orange Theory like two years ago, it was $169. And even that is expensive. Like some gym memberships are like 40 bucks. But I just really want to do solid core. I just really think it will make me really happy and I want to try it. So we're going to try it out for a month or two and see how it goes. But I have my first class today at 8 a.m. And I want to just like enjoy my walk over, not rush over or anything. So we're gonna leave for that soon. I need to download a ticket for tomorrow because I'm going to a concert with my sister. So that's all the stuff that we have to do today, but that's all in between all these people coming over because my sister and my brother-in-law are actually coming over at around lunchtime. We're just gonna hang out for a little bit. Eat. And then for dinner, we have some other friends coming over, Simon and Brandon, that's our plan. Lots of stuff today, but I'm gonna try to stay productive in between all these social plans because I have a tendency to just like be lazy in between social plans. So brought you guys with me today because we're gonna get a lot done and i've been ranting way too long at this point already but welcome to the vlog let's drink our coffee and go to solid core i'm so excited and we're gonna go on a walk together too like this will be a fun day good morning okay 
Hey guys, I am headed off to Solidcore now. I'm listening to a small amount of drama podcast on the way there, and I'm just so excited to have Solidcore and to just like be back on like some sort of like exercise something. Alive just wasn't working for me, you guys, and nothing has ever made me sore the way Solidcore has, so I just feel like this will be really good. I can always cancel it after a month anyways, so we'll see how this goes, but I'm also just excited that like it's a long walk away, so I can like enjoy a nice walk in the mornings or in the afternoons whenever, and I just think this will be really good, and I'm in a really good mood because I journaled this morning, I'm vlogging today, I'm seeing my sister later, and yeah, I'm out of breath, but Let's go solid core, get a good workout in, and then I'll see you guys after. I'm back from solid core and we picked up some packages. I'm so excited, first of all. Solid core was so good. Today was a leg wrap day with biceps and then there's always core and it was just so good. I was sweating, I need to shower. And then we got some smoothies from South Block. I picked up some smoothies for Thomas and we already finished mine, so I can't show you, but I got a green, I think it was called like the Manju smoothie or something, but it was a protein smoothie it's and it was green. Healthy. And then Thomas got just a regular green smoothie. <laughs> But I'm so excited. I have two really fun packages to open with you guys. Majeri wanted to send over some gifts, which is crazy. Thank you so much, Majeri, for these gifts. If you guys don't know, before I even started my YouTube channel, I was a Majeri stan, okay? I love Majeri. If you're ever wanting to invest in some really good solid gold pieces, like 14 karat solid gold, then I would highly recommend Majeri. And they don't just have solid gold too. They have sterling silver, gold vermeil, which is like gold plated. They have like price points of all areas, but the fine jewelry, you guys, the 14 karat solid gold is so good. I have no idea what they even sent over, but I'm just excited to, oh my God, it's multiple. I think what I love the most about investing in your jewelry is that you can sweat in it, you can shower in it, and it actually will never, ever, ever tarnish. Oh my gosh, gold hoops. So these are 14 karat solid gold, and you guys, it. I actually cannot believe that Majori has sent me gifts. It's such a full circle moment. I love these. These are like, I think these are the medium hoops or the large hoops, but I love them just for everyday wear. If even I have Majori. I know, even Thomas has Majori, it's true. Oh my gosh, and then they sent over two rings, what? Oh my gosh, this is a gold ring and I love this because it's a little bit rounded on the top and a little bold. So it's more than like your everyday ring, I think. Size six is like my perfect index finger. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then they sent over a small one too. Oh my God, this one's a little bit more flat, kind of like a signet almost. I'm gonna put this one on the ring finger for you guys to see. So here's the difference. This one's a little bit more bold. This one's a little bit thinner. But either way, they are 14 karat salt gold, which is crazy. And then, oh my gosh. It's the gold chain. The gold okay, chain. I got this because I could wear this, but Thomas could also wear this because Majeri is really nice for unisex. So I'm so excited, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, my Jerry. Again, I'm gonna link all of these items in the description box. They're not sponsored or anything. They just wanted to gift some items and I'm blown away. And then for the other package, we got something for the apartment. Can you actually help me for a sec, Tom? Yeah. Okay, you guys, I got a new mirror and we're going to switch out this circular one and that's gonna go in the entryway now. I know, eventually I wanna redo the entryway just because, I mean, not redo, I just like never even planned it in the first place. I just like laid all of those frames on there. So that's gonna go in the entryway. And then let me show you this new mirror that I got from Amazon. Oh, it's like not as brushed gold as I thought it was gonna be. Let's just see what it looks like. Okay, right in the middle. Hmm. You can't tell on camera. If you, I don't think you guys can tell on camera, but this is like a- It's like a little rose gold. I know, but wow, Thomas, look at the camera. It looks like totally yellow gold on camera, I think. Wait, that's actually crazy. Isn't that crazy? I'm telling you guys, this is like that's slightly, lovely. it's not as gold as it looks on camera. If you can't tell on camera, I think that's fine. But this is a 24 by 36 arched mirror from Amazon. I love this because we don't have to like mount it on the wall or anything, but it's tall enough that like, I can vlog with you guys and it's just a lot easier for like getting ready and doing coffee and stuff too. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the mirror? I think it's stunning. I think I want to keep it. I like it. 
Like, actually, it's crazy. Like, they look the same. Like, that gold and that gold in, looks in, the same. In real life, it's but in real life, it's not. I'm going to put a picture. You know what? I'm going to take a picture and show you guys because I bet the camera will show. But I think it looks really good. Hey. Do you like it? <laughs> Hi. 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 Okay, Thomas is going to go on the walking pad and study. I'm going to shower and clean up a little bit. I will talk to you guys in a little bit when my sister is here, I think. I'm just going to chill before, answer my emails, work on my to-do list and stuff, and then we'll see where we are. Wow, big mirror. I love it. She don't know me. Wish that I can make a stay. She's so lonely. Why she gotta go? Okay, you guys, I'm off to meet my sister. I think this is actually a really cute outfit. I'm wearing these high and wide jeans from Urban Outfitters. I actually love these. I don't have to tailor them, so they're like the perfect length. I'm wearing my Nike Dunks that my sister got me. I'm wearing this really cute bucket hat that I just got from Lululemon. And then this bag is from Amazon. I think it's so cute. Yay, this is so cute. Do you think I look cute? You're so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm headed off to the Metro. My sister, my brother-in-law and I are gonna go to the American Art Museum, maybe the Portrait Gallery, and then we're gonna go to Unconventional Diner. So just gonna take a quick break from all the productivity and stuff and go to the museums. So, okay, I will see you guys later. Did you just get here too? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cute hat. Thanks, it's Lulu. Life. life. Suburban life in the car. All the friends pretending like they want to get lunch. Don't know if we're doing, but it's fun to dream. Yeah, it's funny to dream, but you're laughing with me. I want to stay in this moment. Okay, we just finished up at the National Portrait Gallery. We walked a little bit around city center and we're so hungry now. It's like hot and humid today too in DC. Like, <laughs> look at her. What? <laughs> I have literally sweat all inside my head, which is not good. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna eat. I'm so excited because me and Justin have never been to an unconventional diner before, but Justine has. It's so one of my favorite places. I've been wanting to try it for so long. I feel like it's really well known in DC. So I'm really excited. I'll take you guys, of course. It's been a little bit. It is around, wait, it's 4.55. It was like four o'clock like a second ago. I don't know, Tom's not really, <laughs> this, <laughs> I can't even tell you guys what Tom's not been doing. We've been watching this <laughs> Maddie on set. Okay, look, Thomas was having trouble focusing because he was listening to lo-fi. So I was like, fine, let's just turn on some EDM. <laughs> So we turned on this Maddie on set and it's so good, but we've watched like 40 minutes of it. So that's what happened. Mission complete because Thomas is no longer sleepy. So he's back to studying and I've opened up my computer and we're gonna go through my to-do list for today because I'm back from DC. It was a really nice break, honestly. I don't really have too much to do today just because it is a holiday. So let's just go ahead and look at what we have to do. And then I will update you guys on what's left. And then I have around like two hours before we have more guests coming for dinner. Let me just show you guys left. I did answer my emails, which is good. I did half of them before I left for solid core this morning. And then I just did them like periodically throughout, finish them up right now. So I did answer all my emails, which is good. I've had like some brands that have been waiting back on me. 
So I did that. I posted my video. It ended up being a little bit late just because I was literally at the museums at 12 and I just totally lost track of time, but I made it go live at around 3 p.m. So I did that. The lights, still haven't done that today. I did call the tailor today. They're not open today just because it's Labor Day, but they are open tomorrow at 10. So I'm gonna work on that this week, but I just needed to know like that they're open. I'm filming this now, which is good. And then I did figure out my ticket for tomorrow. Justine, my sister and I are seeing Sabrina Claudio tomorrow after work. So we just had to make sure that like we got the ticket all settled. It's basically on her phone, which is why I'm crossing this off. There's like nothing for me to do, but I did make sure that it was all okay. And that like we can figure out our timing and stuff. So that's tomorrow. And then I did walk and do solid core. I'm actually really happy with just overall, like how that went. I like doing solid core in the mornings. I like exercise in general in the mornings if I can but the next time that I'm going is actually on Thursday and I'm going at like night with Thomas so that's later on but I did do that today and then I don't know if I'm gonna have time to film Princess Polly but those are the only two things that I have left so I'm actually really happy with this I think what I'm gonna do next is not film Princess Polly just because like I was gonna be so crazy ahead if I filmed it right now and I kind of just want to get ahead on editing if I do have the time because the video that you guys are watching right now is going to go live in three days. So I would like to get ahead if I can because I'm ahead right now, which is really good. So I think actually in the meantime, before our guests come, I'm just going to edit this video that you guys are watching only so that I have like the rest of the week to figure everything out. The lights and stuff, we just have to figure out the screws, but I'm pretty sure the hardware store is closed today too because it's Labor Day. So the lights will figure out during the week. How's that? Because I'm going to start a work week video tomorrow. I think that's it for right now. I'm actually really happy. I had a pretty productive day. I feel like having events and stuff and like going to DC with my sister and getting lunch, like that's productive too. I feel like productive just means you're happy with the way that you spent your time. Sometimes that means laying on the couch. Sometimes that means like doing computer work. And sometimes that also means like spending time with people. So I think this was a very productive day. Went to the museums. I saw my sister, my brother-in-law, did some computer work and did all those things. And now I'm going to edit a little bit and chill before our guests come. So I think that's the plan for right now. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I actually do have one more thing to show you guys. I never showed this to you, but I keep forgetting. This is amazing. I got this off of Amazon. If any of you guys have the Instax mini cameras, I feel like a lot of people have these. If you don't, I highly recommend this, but if you already have one, I really, really recommend getting a photo book. I really love this one. It's from Amazon and it says like pieces of moment at the top. And it's just like a little scrapbook that is in the perfect size for all of the Instax mini film films. So I think this is just really cute. And I want to fill this all up with all the guests that we have throughout the year with Thomas and I living together. All of my old pictures i have them in my drawer i feel like i just want this photo album to be from this year of like thomas and i starting to live together and stuff so here's a picture of thomas and me on the front and then we started it just like on a random night when we had friends over and stuff so we have like some friends here some friends here and yeah now we can just like fill all this in i'm gonna link this in the description box for you guys because it was so cheap and i just think it's really cute it comes in different colors too but i got the light gray one i think that's it Okay, seriously, I'm gonna start editing. I'm gonna change into my comfy clothes too. I'm literally still wearing jeans, I don't know why. And I'm gonna let Thomas study. He has, his, he has like the noise canceling headphones in. One of you guys actually commented that a piece of advice was like having noise canceling headphones. And that I can agree is like totally a lifesaver when I have my headphones in or he has his, we always turn on noise canceling just because like we do have a one bed, so. In a perfect world if i had like endless money we'd have a two bedroom but we're splitting a one bedroom just for the sake of having like a bigger living space so it does work out but i'm gonna just be quiet put my headphones in too and we're gonna both do some work and then i'll talk to you guys later i don't know if i'm gonna film while we have our guests over but i'll at least show you what we're making for dinner and maybe just like a little bit of thomas cooking so i'll talk to you guys later pretty productive day a clip of Thomas's like half eaten pasta and I didn't take a clip of the salad and it just it didn't work I honestly just totally forgot about my camera's existence like at all while 
while our guests were here. So please excuse me. And now they've left and it's a little late. So we're going to have another bathroom moment, except Thomas isn't asleep or anything. He's just like, he's talking to his mom and studying and I'm just going to be in here getting ready for sleep. That is our productive day. I need to go get, I need to look at my planner, but I actually think I did everything. The only things that I didn't do. Okay. I actually know for a fact, the only things that I didn't do today are filming my princess Polly haul, which I'll do. Like I literally have two weeks to do it. And then I did not get the screws for the sconces, but I will do that this week. I actually have a really busy week ahead of me. I already forgot, like, as I was filming this, I said that Thomas and I were going to solid core on Thursday. Can't do that because I already made a plan like two weeks ago that I've totally forgotten about. That's not gonna happen, but it will happen at some point, Thomas and I going to solid core together. And I'm literally, you guys, already sore from this morning's class. Like, that's how good solid core is. If you're already feeling it same day, that's how you know it was a good workout. I will get ready for sleep with you guys and then we'll end off this day together. I was editing this video before our guests came and I actually have like a good amount of footage and I feel like this is honestly a really fun day. Here's my makeup remover as you guys know. You can get this on Amazon but this is a Korean beauty brand. It's Vanilla Co and it's literally the best. It's the best. It's one of those solids that is a double cleanser. So it's just really, really nice. You just like melt off your makeup and then as you wash off, it cleanses your face and then you double cleanse with your regular cleanser. And then you just have like a very fresh face of skin. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my face really quickly. And then as I do my skincare, I wanna talk to you guys about one more thing very quickly. quickly as I get ready for sleep and do my nighttime skincare. I just want to address, I guess, like productivity or day in the life or week in the life videos even. I just, I hate to say like, I'm gonna remind you guys because I know that obviously you guys are humans and like, you know, you know everything that I have to tell you, I guess. Like, I guess what I mean to say is like, I'm not in a position to tell you, you should do anything. In the end, my channel is me just sharing my life with you guys but i think that an easy misconception for content creators in the lifestyle niche if you call it is that everything that we show or every rant that we have or every thought that we have or every coffee chat that we have is truly everything that we think and have to say and that's just not true so and I guess it doesn't really have anything to do with anything in this video. I'm really open on my channel and I feel like I'm such an open book. But I think it's easy to misunderstand something that I'm saying, either thinking that that's all I have to say or that's all that I'm doing or that's in the entire 100% way that I'm living when what you guys are watching is like in between 15 and 35 minutes of like 24 hour even more like up to five whole days worth and obviously you guys don't see every single thing and i try my best to be open with you guys about the stuff that i'm doing to improve as a person recognize my areas of improvement as a person and i try to like remember everything but i don't and so that's why i say like i don't ever want to remind you guys of anything but just know that even in my growing and getting ready videos or even in this video, it's, you saw a whole day, but you didn't see every single conversation and every single interaction and every single everything. I'm trying my best to be holistic with you, but it's not everything in the end. And if I truly showed everything, then I would have no privacy as a person. So I, f I don't know if I'm going to keep any of this, but I hope that makes sense because especially with sharing my journey living with my boyfriend and transitioning living with him full time i like i'm trying to share things that i've learned but i just i'm forgetting things like yes thomas and i have sat down and communicated about like what we expect out of this transitionary period and yes we've talked about finances i just haven't addressed that because it's a private thing for us so i want to share everything that i can but I'm human and I forget things too. And if I truly shared everything, then I would I would have no private conversations or anything, if that makes sense. So that's all I have to say. At this point, my skincare is done. I just have to put on my lash serum. I'm using Grande Lash again because 
I ran out of extra goodie and this was on sale. So we're back with Grande Lash. It really does work. But I'm going to end off this video here. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for coming along. A productive day in my life. A weekend day in my life. That was productive. Like I said, being productive just means like I'm happy with how I spent my time. And... I am today so that's kind of all we can ask for just taking things day by day being happy with it i think this was a pretty successful day make sure you're subscribed if you're not already i post new videos every monday and thursday i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video but until then miss you already